welcome to care tutorials so let's continue with the next part of this tutorial so as you can see over here we have started modeling this icf coach over here so now what i'll be doing over here is like i have removed some of the vertices sorry with the edges over here so later on we'll just make it much smoother so i'll again go over here i'll just remove some of the edges which are not required so we can just delete that now let's first again right click on it let's just make this perfect over here i'll go over here and let's add a cut over here in this way so i'll just keep on adding this cut i'll keep on adding this cut in this way so whenever you are using a uh, curve or spline something over here this has to be done over here because we haven't used any kind of box over here that's the reason so let's just try to make it look perfect over here all right so once it is done let's go over here similarly let's create the same shape using a cut over here why we are doing this the reason is later on if i want to smoothen it i cannot smoothen it because this all edges are floating edges so if this edges are floating you cannot uh, smoothen this particular object so it's very important that you put on this loops correctly over here so now we can go over here and let's connect this now we can go over here and let's connect this so we'll go on and keep on connecting this one by one so again go over here so let's keep on connecting this i know it's going to be a bit heavier but then only you can able to put some loops if needed in the future so once this is done once this is done over here correctly now we need to go over here as well and put the loops here too so now if you try to smoothen it see uh, this is okay over here but still there are some stuff over here so i can just select this and this and if needed we can just slightly remove this two edges perfect again let's take a cut over here let's take a cut over here take a cut over here and a cut over here so what i'll do is 
I'll just do it on one side, then we'll just make a copy of it. So that would be easy for us. As you know, we are using a spline over here. So this is a floating stuff over here. I'll go over here. Let's select this edges. I'll give one connect over here. Let's select this polygon. I'll delete it from here. So now I can just use a cut over here directly. So let's just give a cut like this directly over there. Alright, so once it is done, similarly, we will do it over here as well. Alright, and last not the least, and let us just put it in this way. So now this is much easier for us. So what I will do is I will just go over here, I will mirror it, copy it over here in y axis in this way and let us attach it. So select the border and let us bridge it and let us say control backspace. I will drag it over here. Now if you go over here, let us go into this. Let us use one swift loop. So first I will just save my file and let us take a swift loop very close over here. I will put one swift loop close over here. So now it is much easier to work over here. I will put one swift loop closer to this. Oh. All right, we will keep this at the center. The reason is uh, this loops are connected. So if you want to remove it now you can delete it. Now it is ok. So accidentally this loops were also selected prior that. So I will again shuffle it over here and let us again take a swift loop much closer to it. So you should have a correct topology that is very important. So similarly we will be doing the same stuff. Let us go over here. I will put one one loops over here if needed. So now if you go into this and try to give nubs toggle you will see that it is much smoother at this end over here. It is much smoother at this end, but there are chances that the things might get distorted over here. Let us see. So we can add some swift loop over here. So let us give two connects 
over here at the corner in this way so I can just ring it and let's give one connect over here okay so that is some issue over here I guess much better we will put one close loop over here as well over here and over here now you can try giving this a knob toggle now it looks perfect as you can see now the bogey over here is correctly defined so we will definitely give it here as well so as you can see now so if I smoothen it then it is not affecting much we can still uh, put one at very very corner to give it a more sharpened look So let us give a closer edge over here, closer edge over here as well, oops we need to do this ok that is correctly fine. So, I will just go over here and let us ring it, put it down in this way. All right. So, let us see this let us again give a knob toggle so we need to put loops over here so when you smoothen it you see that it is correct deformation is coming over here again I will come off the knob toggle let us go over here let us create a window over here so I can just select this and select this area slightly just push this up slightly just push this up okay. so this will be your window section over here or we can say the area So, select this polygons so select this polygons over here let us give a bit of inset slightly and let us extrude it a bit inside over here so now if you want to see you can put one loop over here so we can put that loops later on when we are going to smoothen that part correctly so now let us see how it looks like so we can see now we get a bit of a 
curve over here because of this loops. So guys, if any doubts, please put it in the comment section over here. So please like and subscribe my YouTube channel. As you can see, there is a long way to go. So we'll be also going through a proper topology to be used over here for creating this model over here. So thanks for watching this tutorial. So if you're not subscribed my YouTube channel, please do subscribe my YouTube channel. So thanks for watching.